Hey Lacey, what's wrong with his eye, man? Check his eye out. We got 11 2 on the board. You think you got that beat? And to the races. What'd you draw, man? They gave you like a golf tee? It's got a number on it. Yeah, you just get that when you sign in. I don't know where the hell it goes. Charlie Craig. Ray Davis. 37. 37, Terry Banks. 30, Benji. So y'all got the spot that you wanted to fish? Yeah, the, the, our second choice anyway. Scoop him up. It's like they're going to enjoy that smoke tonight. Lacey getting ready to roll my rod, bud. The bait's still a little wet. We made it right before we come in. I tried to put one hook in it instead of both of them, and it just it just come off the bait. No biggie, though. It just baits your hole up a little bit. Bait landed in the right spot. My just my hooks didn't go with it. This time I'll put both of them in it. Lacey has had to walk all the way down there through all these guys' lines. This is actually acceptable. I thought maybe people would get mad at you, but no. I think all these guys try to help each other out for the most part. He's very delicate with it. These carp have thin mouths and you'll pull the hook pretty easily. They had to switch places, their lines got crossed. It just lets me know when I got a fish, you notice it weights down my line. When that fish gets that thing, it'll stand straight out. That's just showing me my slack in my line. You see it's bouncing right now, it's a fish messing with it. Lazy, you over top of me, bro. Y'all normally set your drags loose? I don't. Mine's pretty tight. It takes about a 15 pound fish to pull mine. Unless you ain't got it sitting in the holder like earlier. If, if you don't get to it in time and they run in the lake with it, they can jerk it out that way. But sometimes your rod stand will spin around too. Though. And there goes my rods. That's a rebate. I mean, they didn't fleet, bro. You can grab that net right there. Oh, uh, yeah. That fish on it. Damn it. Push 
thing, sir. James Mills. Oh, okay. Drumming them in. I didn't know that carp fishermen drum for carp. Well, you can sure tell the sound of a Cummins, can't you? Piece of junk. And a 16 one on the board. We got one on. All we need is a 16 two to win. We got a 16-2 on the board. This one, this one's close. This one's close, so they're gonna take him away. Him. They just called in a a 21-5 while we were on our way to weigh this one. So that doubles again. There's another Cummins. I'm starting to get the idea that um, carp fishermen like Dodge Cummins. You ain't gonna fish that damn corner. I'm about to move over there. Move over. Okay, they had these two spots, but had a guy over here that moved. So Lacey moved down there to his spot. They've already caught one fish they were able to weigh in from his spot. You can see uh, which is the most popular. This is the carp lake. It's pretty packed. And you got every 10 feet you got a pickup truck. This is their catfish lake. It's not near as crowded. This is definitely a lifestyle. When you look around here, it's almost like Friday night football. Is he wearing you out on the net? Yeah, I'm about already wore out. <laughs> I hear you, I bet so. Yeah. About, about he, down my back end. He's not making you carry him up there to the scale too, is he? I told him I couldn't do all that. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Activate, motivate, participate, calculate. Don't hesitate. Uh -huh. 